everybody. Thank you very much for tuning into your reading with me, Lorian. Um, just a quick message to say thank you so, so much for everybody who subscribed, liked, shared these videos. Um, I really do appreciate each and every one of you. Um, and thank you as well for just kind of connecting with me and supporting me. Um, these are general readings. These are for your sun, moon and your rising sign. So if you are looking for a private personal reading, just click the link below. There's loads of readings available for you. Um, so just take a look and see which kind of reading, I suppose, you would like to get from myself. Um, here's hoping November's a good one, simply because it's my birthday this month. So, fingers crossed. Um, and if it is your birthday as well, if you're a Scorpio or a Sagittarian, there are special birthday offers as well for you. So, here's hoping. Let's have a look. Hello my lovely Taurians, thank you so much for tuning in to your November reading with me Laurian. So I don't know whether I mentioned before but this is the Tarot Mucha and this is the um, Archangel Oracle deck. <laughs> Just take me a moment to actually figure out what that was. So hopefully we'll have a little bit of insight as to what's coming through. Now this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon and Rising. It's a general reading. Please check out your um complimentary signs and I did do a meditation before I started on this for you um, actually I think they set me up throughout the day because I painted my nails green and I've been in a very earthy mood and when I did the meditation because I'm going to do you and then Capricorn um, when I did the meditation it was very in depth it seemed like you were going into like a spiral within yourself and you may actually notice a strength within you this month that you never knew existed for instance if somebody annoys you you could just instead of going um you know being offended by that person or going oh and being you know kind of annoyed or upset by it it may just be like water off a duck's back because maybe you didn't actually love or care for that person or think of them as highly as you originally thought you did um so you will have a deep realization oh hello this month that one seemed to come through which is good um but i do feel that you're now turning a page that seems to be a theme with them too just to seem to come through here you want to come out oh nice nice okay and here we have that one. I don't know why I decided to do that for you. It just seemed to be the natural thing. Normally I do four from the top, but oh, hello. We have another two here. So let me just put you there and we'll see what this one has to do for you. These were very jumpy yesterday. They literally flew out. Not so much today, I see. Ah, oh, chakra clearing. Let's see. Okay, let's see what we've got for you, Taurus. Okay, the messages that I'm getting are accomplishments are not out of reach. Um, you have not got a bad card here, to be perfectly honest with you. There is a need for cleansing your life I think of leeches um, because they're showing me you know like little black spots on your skin but not the kind that you know like um, moles or anything it's more to do with the people who would actually suck your energy from you and I feel it's to do with energy leeches here um, okay unexpected something they said I mean I don't feel it was opportunity but it was unexpected so I think you're going to be receiving something. Um, I mean, there's a lot of positives here. I mean, here, this indicates, the Six of Wands indicates the fact that you actually may find that you, again, it may be that you actually find that you're not susceptible or put down or as under someone else's thumb as you originally thought or that it's not affecting you as much some situation doesn't seem to be affecting you as much as you originally thought it was or 
it's not going to turn out as bad as you may have worried it was going to turn out as. So I feel as though you're kind of like, oh, thank the Lord for this, you know, and you feel like almost a weight has been lifted so that you can see a bit clearer and so that you can actually progress on with a great more deal of clarity and something which allows you to see various things um, from a different viewpoint. It's kind of like you've raised your, yourself a lot higher so that you can view things differently. Um, I do also feel this is something to do with how you ingratiate yourself between your friends and your community. So this could be something that seems to be incredibly important for you over the course of the next, I would say the next few weeks, um, not just limited to the first week. So I feel here as well with the Ace of Pentacles, this could actually lead you to new opportunities. This could again be the things coming and offering for you. Now the mistake with the Ace of Pentacles is to assume or presume this is money coming in straight away. I don't believe it is. Um, this could be news about house, job, security, material possessions, um, protections, um, property that you own it could be about extra money yes but I feel also it's the start of something new to attain these things that maybe you have in mind for instance if you want to move house and you feel yeah I kind of know where I'm going to go now this will be the steps to get there you're not going to you know accomplish it all in this month I feel that you are going to be looking outside your reach that's something that seems to be coming up to mind what would normally be outside your usual reach that's coming in and I also feel as though there's a significant place here coming in um it's almost like you find your home even if it's physical or metaphorical you find your home um where you feel safe where you feel appreciated where you can relax where you don't feel like you are being pushed to do anything your environment's a lot better um and also you feel like you're standing your ground you're the king or queen in your castle and i feel that this is going to be something that you feel like you've achieved now here with the world i do also see the fact that things will be coming full circle yes it can indicate international links um it can also indicate things coming to an end but also i feel this is you leveling up i mean you've got the strength card next so I think those two may go hand in hand, to be perfectly honest. I do believe that you will be seeing things, again, from the highest heights. If there's something here that seems to be suggesting that you have come through a great ordeal, you are now being rebirthed in some way. November is a very transformative time, and Taurus and Scorpio are the opposite ends um, of the zodiac, which is normally called your sister sign, or your magnetic opposite your polar opposite so i feel that this you share many traits with scorpio so i feel that this is going to be extra powerful for you and um, it's kind of like halfway through your solar year you may be now looking behind you to see where you want to go in forwards um and it could be something that you really want to take on board here now the eagle to me at this point in time does represent something to do with america um and the lion i feel represents something to do with the strength card coming up but it just seems as though and obviously the ball is Taurus um he could be somebody incredibly attractive coming into your life who knows um but it just seems if it was a personal reading I'd probably know um but it just seems to be something about you emerging in this card so I feel this is you pinpointing various things that come through um okay there's a special message for the women that seems to come through I've known a lot of Taurus women so I kind of know where this is at. A lot of you are teachers, a lot of you are in education, um, places of power or positions of power, and you fight the good fight and you are basically occasionally in a man's game, in a man's world. Um, for those of you who do find yourself battling against stereotypes and all that kind of stuff, you're going to show them how it's done ladies you're going to basically show them who's boss and who can do what they thought that you couldn't do and I think that's kind of where you may get this victory so if you're doing that you have my full support you go you get that you prove them wrong um, and you show what you're worth basically and let me know if that happens too because I just feel that this is kind of misrepresentation of Tory and women a lot of the time and I feel that you're now being something different that you're you're again being elevated to something different and this could be your strength coming through this hell no you're not talking to me this way the lion can sometimes represent an actual leo 
Um, it could be somebody that you bond with. I mean, there's somebody here that you may feel you shouldn't be vulnerable with, but you can be vulnerable with them. They will value your inner strength rather than your show of outward. You know, gentleness is something that is res respected. Um, this is a very different interpretation of the strength card, and I absolutely love it because it shows her in unity with the lion rather than taming it. You know, I don't feel that sometimes you should tame your inner lion. I feel that you should let it free and that you should get it, you know, out there. Um, and even with this, the chariot, once you get it out there, you may be wondering which way to go, but you have the strength of your balance to help you. I feel this is your shadow side and I feel this is your light side. So it could be your Scorpio slash Taurus side here that allows you to see both sides of the coin, your practical side and your intuition. No matter what it is, you need to make a decision and you need to stick to this path now. For instance, if you show them that you're, um, how to put it, if you show them who's boss, or if you reach a corner, round a corner, in regards to a particular problem, or if you see something, you can't back down from that anymore. You can't just go, oh, well, you know, there's a lot of work to do, so I'll just have a sit down for half an hour and a cup of tea, and then I'll keep doing that every half an hour after keep going at it, keep plugging forwards. Uh, for instance, it's the same if you have an idea for a book or something or a project. If you, again, if you know, know how to solve a problem for a friend, if you keep going and if you try and, you know, persevere, you'll get there. This is what that thing is all about. You need to be level-headed, you need to be equally heart and equally mind and just carry on rather than step back. And again, with the chakra clearing here, it says, call upon me to clear and open your chakras using sacred geometric shapes. Now, I don't know about geometric shapes because I've not actually looked into them. Um, maybe it's more for me for not doing so, but I just feel that this is more about you meditating on things, you deliberating on things, you taking your time. Don't worry if things go a little bit topsy-turvy. Just be you clear your life of people who do not appreciate you come through the webs come through the veil the fog see above that see what is clouding you from this truth and this thing that seems to be around you and just kind of be honest communication is the key here you're going to prove your worth this month taurus i mean anybody in their right mind will already know what you're worth and respect you and honor you and love you as you are those of you who doubt you, those of you who think you are beyond them or below them, you're going to show them who the frick is boss. In men or women, I feel particularly women, but you're going to come through and surprise somebody. You're going to come through and go, wow, you know, it's going to be an actual surprise with somebody. So keep going. I feel this is a really good time for you. And I really look forward and hope that you will all tell me how things go. If it is a private reading you would like, just go to the link below it'll take you to all the listings for the readings that I do and if you want to support me on Patreon I would love to see you there too but in the meantime my beautiful Taurus do take care of yourself I look forward to seeing what happens to you in December speak to you soon and much love to you all